See, see, being straight is a crime, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, look at how they demonize gun owners, conservatives, libertarians. They're, they're coming after us. Now, the average gay person is not into this, but they still will support any policy government puts out because, oh, that's their friend. That's the friend that wants them to have rights. Is that why the government in 1978 on record, this has been declassified partially, is part of a Navy program in a hepatitis operation in uh, the village uh, there uh, in New York, gave thousands of highly promiscuous gay men who were having hundreds of partners a month. Very destructive, folks. Very destructive lifestyle at that level. HIV, just like Bayer, helped pass that around as well. Oh, they, they care about you real good. They like it you're not going to have kids. They like it you're going to die alone, statistically. They like the fact that gay men have the lowest life expectancy. They want to kill you. The last thing they want is for you to ever have the joy of children. But don't worry. Don't worry. They're going to go take heterosexuals' kids. They're hunting us. This is And give them to the gay couples. That, that's what goes on. And I'm supposed to go, here, take... Take people's kids. I mean, it's liberal. Maybe we should sacrifice our kids to a big uh, homosexual uh, altar. Maybe have a pyramid, and you go up, and the gay priests are there, and you like, they, you know, they chop your kid up with a meat cleaver, you know, to prove you're not racist or homophobic. I mean, this uh, every society has done this in Sodom and Gomorrah. Whether you believe the Bible or not, the men come to the door and say, "Give us those men. Come out. We're going to have sex with you." Where did they get this idea of a gang of men coming and saying, we're going to rape you? Because in every society, once this starts, the Romans, it was outlawed, folks, because they'd see what happened in other cultures. Rome rose, was stoic, got into this, and pretty soon it was Caligula dressed up like a werewolf, raping and killing children. And I, and I bring this up because this is what all elites end up doing. Raping and killing children dressed up like a werewolf. You don't know about that? Look it up. They would have big, you know, hundreds of people laying on the ground at those low tables eating. They had vomitoriums. You'd eat and eat and eat and vomit and vomit and vomit and, and feed the vomit to dogs outside. I'm not joking. Look this up. Called a vomitorium. That's where the word vomit comes from. Or Vulcan vomiting like lava coming out, I guess in the Latin, if memory serves. And the point, and, and the whole point, that's why it's, I guess it's also vulgate. It you know, means to, you know, project out to speak. And so they would go and do all this. And by the end, it was just ripping children's heads off, stabbing them, blah, chewing their throats out, blood spraying all over the walls. I mean, that's where this goes. So, so just understand, that's where this goes. That's what's going to happen. That's where it ends. I mean, look at the BBC. Every week or two, there, there, someone's being arrested and pleading guilty to raping nine-year-old girls and devil orgies and uh, rape, uh, raping five-year-old boys and devil worshiping and necrophilia and hanging out with the royal family. And it's just it's so many articles, I can't even cover it all because they just want to get it to where they can do whatever they want. You understand that? So th there, I've talked about what's happening on that front.